So there's this um, what and stroke graph stuff. That is uh, one of the algorithm. I think I have one here. No. So it's one of the uh, algorithm that can create this behavior. It's actually the exactly algorithm that I just described. That it kind of hyper jump between uh, create the, the jump between uh, the connection between the community here. Uh, so in what stochastic graph you need to have the number of nodes um, and this is the uh, let me just I share the screen right so you sh you should see this um, network X and uh, documentation what. Connected what and stereo graph random graph this one. So here um, yeah, You can see here this function require n number of node k Is that each node is joined With its k nearest neighbor in the ring topology and p this is the will be the property of rewiring so in this example I use Uh, I use um, this is hundred, and uh, each each of the node would be uh, sorry, where is it here? Each of the node each each node is jointed with k nearest neighbor. All right, so it would join with the k nearest neighbor uh, here, and rewiring occurring here uh, that is when it's jump to uh, the neighbor. You jump to the neighbor. Um, so by this, it means that the connection, the, the connection between this to this one, instead of going through here, it can jump from this point to another point. That shorten the shortest path length between a one person to another person. And and by having this one, you can think of, of a way if you want to create an application that kind of connecting people together. You might want this. It's actually Think about it, it's actually really simple. You want to create a random connection, just like that. And maybe this is the mechanism behind uh, a lot of the like, dating algorithm, creating random connection uh, that connect from one side to another side, right? Uh, not just those that are near, near one another. Okay. Uh, so by, you can use the average shortest part length measuring this one, and we would have the average shortest part of, of four, um, uh, of 4.89, even though we have 100 nodes in ring formation. And the uh, uh, clustering coefficient is around 0.35. Okay. All right, so these are, the, these are the two properties of the, of the evolution of the network, mainly preferential attachment and uh, small world phenomenon. Uh, we can see that, that this this actually can explain a lot of uh, networks in real life, like in the actual neural network, in the social network data, like in Facebook, in IMDb, and in others. Uh, in some of the uh, in some of the uh, some of the uh, structural network like power grid and circuit boards and some but but they find that internet right it's not small world because it has low it has small clustering coefficient the clustering coefficient has to be high to be small world uh, small world means tightly packedly uh, tightly connect to one another and have a short path length uh, so internet itself is not like that because um, uh, it might have like connection uh, throughout the network uh, that is connected by uh, hop by hop. So it's not small world, but it has professional attachment. Okay. Uh, because if it's small world, uh, reaching server abroad would require only six hop. But you can see that it's real life. It's not like that, right? You need to go to university network, uh, ISP, 
and then the node and another node until you kind of going that to to the network itself. So it, it, in itself, it's not uh, because I I think a lot of a lot of network that is uh, not having behaving like uh, either uh, prevention attachment or having these smaller properties uh, might have certain constraints that uh, need uh, like when network is creating it need to kind of obey that constraint. Uh, but if the network becomes more and more random having like evolution to guide it, having other things guided, it kind of tend to work having a small, uh, small world uh, and, and, and privilege attachment phenomenon. Okay, 